technical difficulties there. But one person who's always ready off the cuff is Dave Aguilera. Dave, what do we have happening in weather today? Well, we got a changing weather pattern right now. If we take a look at our mile high camera, looking over the city, mostly clear skies looking out to the east. But then let's go to our mousetrap camera, look the other direction. A whole different story. Big, thick clouds coming across the mountains right now. And that is the cold front that is on the way. Still 78 uh, degrees downtown, 79 at DIA, but the cooler air, 50s, 60s, all the way out west, is starting to move in behind that front. Hey, before I show you the radar and everything, I just want to show you a couple of beautiful pictures. This one from Ron Blakicki, uh, Beaver Ponds, Mount Albert Trail, up there near Estes Park. Beautiful uh, reflection shot there. And above Central City, Michael McDaniel, McDonald uh, sent this one in. Same thing, reflection shots. You can't beat those. Hey, if you take any good pictures this weekend uh, in and out of the rain, you report at CBS dot com is where you go send your fall color photos and we'll try to get them on here's the front coming through you can see showers and thunderstorms behind that system still clear out over the east already clouds enveloping fort collins here and even the denver metro area from boulder down to evergreen and moving into the city here comes the front with the cloud cover so this afternoon will cloud over and there is a few light showers already showing up in the foothills out here the heavier stuff is out here from edwards down through aspen breckenridge here and then pushing out uh, towards the east two big waves of thunderstorms coming through one north of Grand Junction into Meeker and south of Grand Junction coming across Montrose here so all of this will be pushing through and look how well defined this big low pressure area here is and this thing is just going to kind of lumber between the Pacific Northwest and the northern Rockies over the course of the weekend delivering cooler temperatures clouds and showers and thunderstorms and the reason because Ian is blocking everything up it's not going to move very much so this afternoon showers and thunderstorms storms developing across the uh, front range the eastern plains and of course in the mountains those started early this morning and if you look real close this is the 10 o'clock map tonight see the little coloring there the kind of pinks the whites and the deep blue that's snow and we could have some accumulation on some of the mountains then it clears out overnight in the morning a little wave of cloud cover coming through so we could start cloudy around Denver and the east maybe a little spritz of drizzle here and there and then that pulls out we clear out in the midday and then showers and thunderstorms fire up again in the afternoon in the mountains and the eastern plains as the moisture continues to drive in behind that front and again some of the mountains may see about a half inch to an inch of accumulation uh, around 11,000 feet and above we had some of that today going on believe it or not high temps today 60s and 70s in the mountains and west our temps will be in the 70s here but that'll happen the, probably the next hour and then they'll cool off after that and 80s to near 90 down to the southeast so 78 the high temp today 40 percent chance of thunder Storms. And here's the blocking that Ian is doing here. Now we've got Ian over Atlanta uh, by tomorrow afternoon. High pressure over Dallas. Here's that front we showed you and that low pressure area staying in gear there on Saturday. Sunday, Ian kind of just moves up towards Washington. Same thing, the low pushes up towards Montana. Cool air and in place. And around this high, a little trickle of very, very late season monsoon moisture trickles up. We'll have the same thing on Sunday. Ian doesn't move a whole lot. It's still around Washington. In DC holding everything up again and then you take a look at this uh, all the way through the weekend and beyond temperatures near 70 degrees chance of good rain till Monday and then we start to slowly dry out Dylan by the time we get to Tuesday but a major change from the warm fall we've had so far I'm all right with it Dave I Thank am too so much mm -hmm. well a new show debuts tonight